Hey guys, Kevin here with another haul video. Now, I know I haven't done one in a while. Um, I've been meaning to though. Does that count for anything? I don't know. But, I have stacks around the house of video, uh, books, comics, you know, um, different things I have found that I want to do videos on. So let's go ahead, do the videos, show what I found, and then I can start putting them away. Um, I'm in the process of arranging not this area this is uh in one room but there's a room on the other side of this wall that i'm trying to make all my comics look nice and neat and some books too so anyways um i did a couple of trips recently um some were just the regular uh thrift stores in the area and one was a special trip so in my area here's what i found uh so i grabbed american born chinese graphic novel. Um, I have heard fantastic things about it. I have not read it. It is perma-bound and based on the inside and there's some kids names in it so I won't show but uh, it looks like it's a discard from one of the local school libraries here. Uh, so I grabbed it to add to the graphic novel collection and we'll read it eventually. <clears throat> and then I did a quick haul. My local thrift shop is not what it used to be at all which is part of the rest of this haul here, but pop in 50 cent paperbacks if I see a good, um, uh, vintage doesn't really work, pulp not really, but you know, like some good garbage paperbacks. Um, for those of you that don't subscribe to the Patreon or didn't see it on social media, I all went through the book paperbacks from hell and was looking into what they were discussing and because of it, I have started a paperback collection. I used to just grab them to flip on eBay and some of them are still for that. So if you're, if you see anything you're interested in, send me a DM, chance are we can work something out. I don't have my heart set on any of these really. But I like them, I like finding this stuff. Uh, so I grabbed Able Team number 34, Clear Shot. I have no idea what Able Team is. I'm guessing it's like an A-Team ripoff, pulpy, you know, quick little read thing but I'm I'm curious about these things um bloody hand looks potentially offensive uh it's also kind of a western too and I'm debating on doing something with western soon uh the more and more I look into it the more intrigued I'm becoming probably because I'm an old white man now and that's what you do is get into westerns so I'm gonna check it out all right this deck here <clears throat> a little while ago, um, my wife said, why don't you go out and thrift today? Just take a day for yourself, drive around and all, because we were stressed out. So she said, go out and do something fun. And the problem is, I've kind of exhausted what is, like, real close, like, within our town or the next town over. But years ago, at a different job, one of the women that worked there said, oh, I went to Salvation Army in this other town, and I found so much. They get so many books, it's just on the floor you know just boxes and boxes on the floor and it's cheap and all. I'm like oh have to go there and I couldn't remember what town she said now years later honestly this is four or five years past that conversation so I guessed and I didn't find like boxes on the floor but I did okay you know, I was happy with it so um because I'm doing the the pulps you know the adventure series and stuff like that I'm just grabbing any that I find now. These were all 50 cents paperback as well. So we got The Executioners by Nick Carter. Part, uh, a new Killmaster spy series. Uh, I'm sure this is trash and I'm sure it's fun. And that's kind of like the whole point of these. Yeah, Nick Carter, Killmaster, The Executioners. Okay. Yeah. Fun little things. Found another one. Uh, this is part of the Destroyer series. It, uh installment volume whatever number eight summit chase um so again probably absolute trash and everything too but i'm i'm wondering if this is something i can do it's kind of why i'm looking into this stuff um so movie novels late movie novelizations are a big thing in the retro uh pop culture blogging community that i am in so i grabbed jaws 2 and Jaws the Revenge. Jaws the Revenge, very curious what ending is in the book. For those of you that don't know, there's a theater ending, and then there was a home video or an edited or 
like a focus group ending. There's two, there's two endings to Jaws. And depending on what channel you saw it on, you may have seen a different ending. And one is the official ending now, and one is sometimes shows up as like a DVD extra or a YouTube thing or whatever. But I don't know which one's in here, so I'm curious. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I, in addition to the comics and the wrestling and now paperbacks and everything else, I like collecting comic strip booklets, collections of the comic strips you see in the paper. So I'm going to add Heathcliff Smooth Sailing to it. Um, and also, if you don't know, Heathcliff right now is nuts, still going on, and they just went off the deep end, and it's fantastic. But I, I love finding these. Love them. You can usually find it at a thrift store, used bookstore, library book sales, and all. Like, people donate these all the time, so I got a good collection. I unfortunately sold some earlier this year, and I'm pissed. And I think that through. Okay, so of course I collect comics. Sometimes you find, like, a Marvel thing like this. I did not expect to find the Bible, though. The Promised Land. It is a... What do they call it? A picture Bible? No, they call it something else. Um, an illustrated book. I, I've... What do they call it? Picture Bible? I forget. They call it something weird. But, I mean, it's essentially a comic, really, retelling it. And, I mean, the... The art is more, you know, uh, focusing on, not more. you're getting the details, the period piece and all correct, stuff like that. Uh, kind of like Prince Valiant, if you ever read those Sundays. Still got that in my collection. Um, I did not expect at the Catholic run thrift store that I went to, to find some, I gotta assume death metal here. Um, but it is Percussor Proclamation of Hate. Still sealed. Um, you can write to them at... Oh, uh, sorry. The record label is Horror, Pain, Gore, Death Productions. Um, yes, I am very much into metal. And I have no idea what this sounds like. I don't care. I had to grab it. Uh, including such songs as Extermination of the Weak, Defiled Reputation, Caved in Skull, Blood Behind the Eyes, Ripped Apart as I See Fit, Slashing Through Dry Veins, Images Through Forgotten Torture, Useless Creation That Stands Before Me, Diseased Breeder, and the Outro. Uh, so I mentioned wrestling before, and if I find, yes, we have WWE Network, but stuff is edited, and that's not every wrestling promotion, and anything on streaming or online or digital can always go away, remember that, so physical media is still key. Hard Justice 2007 from TNA Impact Wrestling. Including Kurt Angle versus Samoa Joe, Sting Abyss and Andrew Martin versus Christian Cage, AJ Styles, and Tom Coe. Adam Pacman Jones appears. Team 3D versus the Steiner Brothers. Eric Young versus Robert Roode with Miss Brooks. Wildcat Chris Harris versus Black Rain. The Latin American Exchange versus the Voodoo Kin Mafia. Rhino versus Cowboy James Storm. Kaz versus Raven. Triple X versus Motor City Machine Guns. Versus the Guru, Sanjay Dutt, and Black Machismo, Jay Lethal. Can't believe there's not a knockouts match on here. That's a little surprising. Alright, so like I said, I'm collecting the paperbacks and all now. Uh, so I found this official guide to paperbacks and magazines. First edition for collecting it. Now, granted, none of these prices are going to be valid and all. But I was hoping, like, the Comics Buyers Guides, that there would be cool pictures. Maybe stuff to look for. It's in black and white. But, I mean add it to my hunting and all. All right, this one drove me nuts. You can do a graphic novel. Okay, cool. I really want to try it. And it's all sorts of little things on like how to do pencils and how to write and how to add things and all and helpful little guides and it's clearly for kids. So then the debate became how much do they charge me for it? So when I rung up all these books, they were charging me dollar each. I said, excuse me, your sign right here says 50 cents each. Is it a big deal? No, but you know, let's get it right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, this is dollar. Why is this dollar? It's paperback. It's a kid's book. You charge more for kid's books than paperback books? And most kid's books are paperbacks too. So is it a paperback first or a kid's book first? Is it the chicken or the egg? Argue with me on it. I got it for 50 cents. I went against charity. So that is all the craziness I have found this most recent shopping expedition because this was two stops we'll say this was like an overall february 
thrifting haul. So I gotta find room for all of this in my collections. Thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and follow me online at Master Library, MasterLibrary.com is the home blog. And listen to the two podcasts, The House Show over on the Retro Network and the Pop Culture Pub. See you later.